Hey guys, welcome back to Online and Law. This is a medical video lecture, orthopedics. And today I'm going to talk about simple bone cyst. Simple bone cyst. So, guys, so here I'm going to discuss briefly about the simple bone cyst and it's a very important topic for a medical student. Okay, and it can be asked in USMLE or any other medical board examination. So let's start a discussion on this. So what's a characteristic feature of this simple bone cyst is they're very clear. They're very clear and they're cyst-like. Clear cyst-like on x-ray. Okay. And the most common site for this simple bone cyst is the upper end of the humerus. Upper end of the humerus. So usually it affects the what you call the ends of the long bones. Okay. And this simple cyst does not produce any what you call major symptoms but it causes pathological fracture okay let's see what's a bone cyst what's the simple bone cyst is remember they are osteolytic sometimes they can be a solid lesions also they are osteolytic okay and sometimes they can be solid also so if you want to know how exactly it looks like on an x-ray just google the images of x-ray images of simple bone cyst okay what's the pathology of this simple bone cyst what does it contains it's a cavity as we know it is cavity in the bone lined by thin membrane it is lined by thin membrane and it contains serous or serosanguineous yellow colored fluid serous or serosanguineous yellow colored fluid so guys here it looks that it contains a yellow colored fluid means it has a bacteria but not like that I wish I will try to tell you how it is treated that's really amazing we don't give any antibiotics okay and this simple bone cyst is very common in children and adolescents okay so when you take an x-ray when you take x-ray the x-ray it will show well defined well defined lobulated lobulated radiolucent radiolucent zone okay in metaphysis or diaphysis of the bone metaphysis is a junction where there's a lot of blood vessels communicate okay so metaphysis is also an important part of the bone where there's a lot of infection can take place right this lesion what you call a simple bone cyst close to what we call epiphyseal plate is considered to be active okay if it lies near the epiphyseal plate then it's called active it's not an important point just remember okay so these are the important uh, features of a simple bone cyst it's a true cyst 
it's uh, what you call clear cyst like seen on an x ray. They are actually uh, what you call osteolytic in lesion. Sometimes they can be solid. Okay, they are very common in a, um, what you call the ends of the long bones, especially seen in the um, ends of a humerus. Okay, and very commonly seen in children and adolescents. Okay, and how it presents, it doesn't have any symptoms on its own, but after pathological fractures, they can present with this. When you take an x-ray, you see this simple bone cyst. Okay, guys. Remember, the another one important point is that uh, the maximum width of the lesion of this simple cyst is usually less than the width of the epiphyseal plate. Okay, so it's a somewhat bigger, right? And what you have to do is, you have to differentiate this simple bone cyst from aneurysmal, aneurysmal bone cyst. And in a previous video, I discussed about the aneurysmal bone cyst. Okay, so let's talk about the treatment plan. How do you treat it? What's the treatment for this? Remember, this heals on its own. Okay, means spontaneous healing can be seen. Okay. Or the another one, what you call the way of treating this simple bone cyst is you can give what you call a one or two injections of um, shots of uh, methyl pedinisinol. Methyl prednisolone into the cyst and it helps in the rapid healing. Okay, so remember a simple bone cyst. We think of antibiotics in the examination, but it's not the antibiotic, is what you call it tender because spontaneous healing, particularly after the fracture, pathological fracture, or it you can give methyl prednisolone into the cyst. Okay. And sometimes you can treat that with the cartilage and the bone grafting. And bone grafting. Okay. So these are the important points about uh, simple bone cyst. Just uh, Google the images of uh, simple bone cyst. X ray images definitely will come to know. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.